guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with a tag video. This is the colorist's first tag. That's a lot of noises. So it is all about the start of your adult coloring journey. And I was tagged by Zoe from Addicted to Coloring, and the tag was created by Jojo from Jojo's Coloring Nook. So it is 10 questions and one bonus, and I'm gonna kind of show you my answers. It's kind of hard to show the answers, which you'll see why in a second. So it's gonna be a little bit of just blank space, but you'll see, you'll see. Okay, so these are all questions about like when you first started coloring, and it's just, it should be fun. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so what was the first adult coloring book you purchased? And this one is interesting for me. So it was like, what's the first coloring book you bought when you started adult coloring? That's a better way to phrase it. Basically, I thought, like I was so excited when adult coloring became popular because I never stopped coloring from a child until now. Like I've always been into coloring, but I would used to be stuck, I guess, with like the dollar store kids books which I have no problem with them. They're great, but except the paper quality's not great, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so back in like 2015, 2016, when adult coloring started to become popular, I was really excited. So I actually got as a gift, Joanna Basford's, I think Magical Jungle, is that the name of it? And I do not have that book to show you because I actually do not like it. <laughs> so I gave it away. But I think there was like the problem of Adult coloring meant tiny, tiny, tiny little spaces and Zen doodles. And instead of just coloring the nice frog, it was the frog with thousands of little bits. So all of that to say, I kind of didn't adult color for an extra two years. And I first bought these two books when I got back into it. Sorry for the long explanation. So this is Fairy Shampoo, an enchanted coloring book. And I know it has an artist, but I don't know. Jo Soo Jin, hopefully that's pronounced right. So this book was made in 2015 and then the English edition was in 2016. I actually bought this at Barnes and Noble and our doggy is of course wanting to go out because she knows I am filming. So, and then I also at the same time bought A Million Bears by Lulu Mayo. This was part of the second wave of her Million Creature series. So I bought this one at the same time. And this was like back when books were still really big in Barnes and Noble and there was like four aisles of coloring books and it was awesome. So that was a long explanation to say that, but that, that's that. <laughs> the next question is even funnier. I realized going through this, I have a lot of funny answers to this and I think they'll be a little bit different from some people, but it should still be interesting. So the next one is what was the first supply you bought? And this is funny because I turned around and I looked at my coloring cart and I've discovered almost I want to say 90% of my supplies were gifted to me. So yeah, my first supplies I acquired was this Prismacolor 48 set. And this was actually a gift that came along with Magical Jungle from my mother-in-law. So I used the heck out of these babies. Let's see. Like we're getting real low. I have all of my blender nibs I just keep them in here and even now I have the bigger set and I try to go to this first so I ended up there's an empty one put the white back I ended up adding in a gray poly color I don't know if this had a different brand name and it got um sharpened off and I added in the neon pink so this is a little bit of 50 set and then I added in my blenders but I destroy these and I go to these first whenever I can so I didn't technically purchase these though so I don't really know what my answer is because my second supply I got the Kurataki watercolors and that was a gift from my friend Lydia hold on let me peek at my cart when I tell you it just is almost funny because I was looking and I was like oh no so I got the Kurataki watercolors from my friend Lydia 
Samuel got me the Prismacolor 150s. This is all, again, over these last four years. So Samuel has purchased me the Prismacolor 150. He purchased me the Ink Tents. He purchased me Neo Colors. Uh, my friend Dave got me my first set of Cali Arts. My aunt got me my first set of Color It gel pens. And she got me a brush set of Color It pens. I guess I've purchased my own Super Tips and my own <laughs> Crayola color pencils. So, yeah, that's a funny answer, but that's my truth, so. Question number three is what is the first non-budget friendly set of pencils, color pencils that you acquired? And again, this one's weird for me because I don't have multiple sets of things. So I only have Prismacolors and I do have the big set, which I don't necessarily think is, is budget friendly for everybody. So that would definitely be my answer, but I didn't really have choices. So I do have, um, the Crayola 100s, right? I think it's a hundred of just Crayola colored pencils. So those are my two pencil choices. So obviously between the two, Prismacolor is more expensive than Crayola color, but I tend to find one type of that supply and then that's it for me. So that's why I don't really get many new supplies because I basically have all the categories covered now. I'm mincing my words, but yeah. So that's that. <laughs> These are just, it's making me laugh, my answers, okay. Let's see if I can get that off screen. Next up is the first hardback book you bought. And again, this is actually a gift, but it is hardback and it is the Art Therapy 100 Images to Inspire Disney Princesses. And this actually came between Joanna Basford and my fairy shampoo, but this was also a gift. I don't have many hardbacks. I don't like Hannah Carlson. I have two of hers. I've never finished a page. She's just not my style. I love other people's work, but she's really not for me. But I do have this one, and I really have not colored much in here either because, again, this was before um, adult coloring kind of evolved a little bit. I feel like now adult coloring is just pages that are on better quality paper is really the difference between adult and kids coloring. Obviously, uh, like there are more detailed ones, but back in the day, this I think was also from 2015 or 16, it's a lot of patterns, but full page patterns. Um, it's a lot of details, like what is the line work in here? What? Why is this a double page of nothing? I do not know, but this was actually also a gift. So it was a very nice gift and I appreciated it. And I like to like test mediums and stuff in here. And there are a few pages that I think would be considered my style now, but it just makes me laugh. So I probably only own like four or five hardcover altogether because it's not really my style either. So <laughs> next up is number five, who was your first buddy color? So I have kind of two answers to this one. My first buddy color was my friend Joanna in real life because we both bought the Hannah Lynn Halloween book and we would just buddy color on FaceTime or we would buddy color in person. So that is an answer. But if we're talking like in the coloring community and not just someone I knew, it was probably Brittany who unfortunately is not really coloring right now, but I'll give you her Instagram anyway. It's bmazxo, so B-M-A-Z-X-O, and I'll put that down below. I will definitely link her. And we buddy colored a few pages back in the day, and this was like back in 2018. And she does so many other cool things right now that she's kind of not doing coloring, but I'm sure she'll come back to it because we all come back, but Next up is the first color tube channel you started watching. And this I can actually credit for like everything that came after it. But basically I was big into watching booktube or I was trying to watch more booktube, which is basically people reviewing books and hauling books and bookshelf tours and all that stuff if you're not on booktube. But a recommended video that came up after a a book reading hall was a coloring book hall 
and I watched that coloring book haul and then I went out and bought those books. So that coloring book haul was by Jen from Reading with Pugs and she obviously, her name's Reading with Pugs, she also used to be reading books before she was coloring books. So I don't even know if at the time she had done any coloring on camera or if she was just doing hauls, but I found her, I found these books, it blew my mind. I literally went out that same day and purchased them and then it all snowballed from there. Next up is the first page you colored. So this one is a little bit hard because I no longer have Magical Jungle, but I don't even know if I ever finished a whole page in there. I remember I was working on that frog page, that like frog on the lily pad, but that was back when I thought you had to color every little tiny dot. So I did not finish. So the first page I finished officially was from my fairy shampoo book and it was this page because this is the page I finished the day I got home with this book and this was also back when I thought you had to like do every little segment so I do like how this came out and I do have a bunch done in here and I would love to one day finish this book but I don't use it as much as I should so maybe one day I'll have to go back to this I have done a few videos out of here actually over the past three years but not enough, right? I think we gotta get back to our roots a little bit, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Look, I really like that one. That was my attempt at a fire and ice challenge, mm, probably in 2017. I just thought that was really cool. Um, but the next question number, what number are we on? Eight is what was your first portrait picture you colored? And it's the same answer because that's a lady. So this is kind of my first portrait. And that was probably my second portrait and my third portrait. I think I did just go in order for a lot of this, but I also skipped around. This one has the, oh, that's my pineapple fairy. I think she's super cool. This one has the tiny thumbnails in the back. So I highlighted the ones I did or most of them, I think I need to go back and highlight some new ones because I definitely finished these two. So again, I got some good ones done in here, but that was also my first portraits were in here. Next up is what was your first grayscale picture you colored? And I think it must have been from Jade Summer Chibi Girls, which while we're here, let me tell you the drama with this book. Apparently Jade Summer has discontinued their Chibi Girls grayscale and their kawaii grayscale, much to the whole coloring community's dismay. Um, I was including this in Buddy Colorathon next month, and I think I'm still going to. I'm hoping enough people have it, and there are there is the line art version still available, so hopefully if you don't have it, you'll be able to participate in another week, but a lot of people that did have it were really excited but I just find it very strange that they discontinued this because I think it's gotta be one of their most popular books. But uh, Insider Information says they're coming out with a four-in-one by the end of the year. I'm not sure what the other two books will be in the four-in-one, but that is what I've heard. So my first grayscale must have been in here. Let's see if I can figure out which one's first. I should have tabbed this, but I just like picked the book and didn't think to pick the page. I think this was, did they come out with grayscale in the original? Oh no, I might be fibbing. So um, I'm actually gonna show you this one, but I think that I originally had GB, Chibi Girls Volume 1 in grayscale, and then they came out with the two-in-one, and then I gave away the original copy. So if you saw this video, I recreated a page from back then, and I'm pretty sure that was the first page I had done in Grayscale. So Grayscale seemed very intimidating to me, but it's actually super, super easy, and it makes you look like you're a much better colorer than you are, because I did all of this in straight coloring, and it like adds the accents for you. I also really like how this one came out, like her cheerleader outfit looks really cool. I think her shirt looks like she's wearing like lace. But this is a really fun book and I'm very upset that it is no longer available. I'm hoping that the new one does not disappoint. So I feel like I'm talking so long on every question, but I'm having a good time. So hopefully you are too. Next up is number 10 is what was the first ever completed coloring book. I also have two answers to this one and they both might be wrong, but I will show you. So technically 
I think I finished this. This is Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. So Jade Summer's books have doubles. So this is a book that has doubles. So you might be saying, how is this a finished book? Look at all those empty pages. But I actually finished every double. Oh, that's a bonus page. I was like, no, 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 no. So I don't know. There's, I think, 25 or 20 or 25 different um, dragons in here. And this is what Samuel, my husband, and I did at the beginning of quarantine back in March. We basically did every single page where I colored the inside half and he colored the outside half. And again, we did all, I want to say 20 to 25 dragons. So if you want to consider this a finished book, there we go. I mean, I may go back and do the other set, but I may not. It kind of depends. I think I might maybe in the March next year make um, Sam redo our dragon again to see if he got any better because obviously he doesn't practice besides this so we'll see but I also consider this book done this is fairy magic by color questopia and this is a color by number book that again color questopia has tons of bonus pages that are not finished but I don't know if I would consider that part of the book. I'm actually doing this one right now as a buddy color with Azra, who I'll link her below, but I don't think she has a channel yet. So I will link her channel, but there's no videos, but hopefully soon. So I'm still, I'm way behind. I've been doing this for weeks and I have finished all of the official fairy pages though. So I consider that a finished book. Hopefully you do too. And let's see, the final, the bonus question is, what was the first coloring tag you participated in? So I'm pretty sure the first tag I did, I'll have to, no, I'm nearly positive it was the Desert Island tag, which I actually recently just redid. And I'm pretty sure it was started by Zoe Archer, who no longer makes videos and like deleted her channel. But that was a fun one that went around where basically you had to say what books you would bring with you on a desert island and what supplies, things like that. So I'm gonna link my new version of that, I guess, up above. Um, I also created some tags. I created the scavenger hunt tags, which if you have not done those, I recommend you do. So they're a lot of fun, but I really love tags and I like getting tagged. So if you have any other tags that I haven't done, feel free to let me know about them so that we can do them here together. But for now, I'm going to tag four people myself and it's so hard to pick who to tag in things because uh, one, I wanna see everybody's version and two, I want everyone to feel included and tagged and special. But this time I picked these four people, two of them know about it, two of them will be surprised. But number one, I want to tag Ren from Ren's Coloring Craze. And I'm gonna link everybody down below. Ren was one of the people that I started talking to. We send our pictures back and forth on Snapchat, which is funny, she's like my only Snapchat coloring friend and she, streams on Twitch and recently just started her channel. So I thought she would like to do this. And I'm going to tag Emily from Color Me Impressed and she's one of the people I'm springing this on. So sorry, Emily, but I am I still want you to thrive, okay? I'm gonna keep making you make more videos to please me, I guess. So I'm tagging her. And then I'm tagging my OG friend, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. I really am interested in seeing her answers because I don't know when you started coloring. I know it's been at least two years, but you'll have to let us know when you do the tag. And then the other person I'm springing this on is Jenny from Rainy Day Coloring. She is also pretty new to YouTube. She's getting pretty popular now because she's so sweet, but her birthday was yesterday. So why not tag her, right? That makes sense. So I wrote all their names down so I didn't remember, didn't forget like the color channel names. Some people, you all have coloring and you all have like fun nooks and, and love and craze and cranny. I don't even know. So I write them down. But those are the four people I'm tagging. If I did not tag you, do it anyway. Why not? And let me know if you do. Let Jojo know she created the tag. There you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry this was so long winded, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. And I'll be back again in two days 
with something new. I forgot all of the rest of it. I do this all the time. I don't know. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time. Like this video. Thumbs up. Comment down below, please. And is that the end? I think so. <sighs> you would think I'm new, but I am not. But all right, that's it. Two days, something new. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I'm so sorry. Bye. Bye. Bye.